The building behind us is a two-story, ordinary constructed building. It looks rather innocuous at first look. What we're going to do is examine this structure and understand that this building faces on two public streets. Hi, welcome to Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. I'm Glenn Corbett, Technical Editor of Fire Engineering. And I'm Paul Dansback, Fire Marshal in Rutherford, New Jersey. This edition of Fire Engineering's Training Minutes will focus on commercial occupancies in the downtown commercial district. The building behind us is a two-story, ordinary constructed building. It looks rather innocuous at first look. What we're going to do is examine this structure and understand that this building faces on two public streets. This building actually cuts through on an angle to an adjoining street. The fact that the building was at one time two separate buildings, which now shares a common basement. The construction features of the buildings, the orientation, the layout of the floor plans, including the basement, will complicate fire ground management and firefighter orientation. Firefighting crews need to be acutely aware that the building fronts on two separate streets, which may result in two separate attack areas from each elevation of the building. Before we look at the other elevation of this building, we're gonna look at a building directly across the street. The building directly across the street is a three-story, ordinary constructed commercial occupancy. This building fronts on two streets. It's a corner building. The two elevations will be readily obvious to the arriving fire department. A consideration for access to the second floor is the entry door to the second and third floors is on the B side of the building. This will be a consideration when companies are stretching hose lines to the second and third floor. The company responsible to make that stretch should locate as close to that door to eliminate a long hose stretch. In other words, place the tailboard at or about that doorway, stretch off the tailboard, and right into the building. Continuing our discussion on buildings that front on two streets, we are now on the secondary elevation of this building. This building legitimately fronts on a street. It has a different address from the other elevation of the building. This elevation, the first floor contains a commercial occupancy, the second floor contains a single dwelling in it. This building, its orientation, cuts through from the primary street on an angle to the secondary street. It shares a common basement. The orientation of the building will complicate fire ground management and firefighter orientation. And the issue of addresses, two different addresses for a single building has been in a problem for the fire service for years. Specifically, if we look back in 1966 to the famed 23rd Street Fire, which 12 firefighters were killed, there was an issue with the, again, multiple sides of a building on two different streets. So it's important from a firefighting standpoint that if you have such a building, that it's very clear to all the responders in your pre-plan how that building's oriented, how you're gonna access it, and make sure that, that the actual nomenclature you're gonna use during a fire is standardized and it's clear to everybody when you're talking about perhaps exposure sides and things like that. So it's important, again, when you have a building with that fronts on two different streets, it complicates a lot of things for us when it comes to particularly communications. This may not be a common feature in many municipalities. When this feature, when this building construction feature exists, fire departments should be aware, understand the building layout, include that information in pre-plans. Thank you for watching this edition of Fire Engineering Training Minutes.